In this video, we briefly introduce the concept of Langchain Expression Language, or LCL. LCL offers a minimalist approach or a declarative way to easily compose chains together. It simplifies the development of applications powered by large language models. In fact, it provides a simple way to interact with core components of Langchain. Using LCL, you can easily define custom chains or pipelines to connect your data or queries to the language models. To understand this better, let's first design a simple chain without using LCL. To do so, we use an example from our previous video. Langchain supports various popular language models or LLMs. We here use a chat model from OpenAI. So the first step is to import the OpenAI's chat model. This can be done by the first line of this code. We then make an instance of the model. If you set the value of the temperature to zero, you get more deterministic or less random outputs. Also, you can get your own API key from the OpenAI website. We now import the prompt template module by which we can design custom prompts. We then define our prompt template. We put the variables or placeholders in curly brackets. In this example, city is our placeholder variable. We now create our actual prompt. The next step is to build our chain or pipeline. To do so, we can import LLM chain from Langchain. We now create our simple chain by specifying our prompt and our LLM model to LLM chain. Finally, to run our chain, we can simply pass a value to our placeholder variable and call the run function of the chain. This way, we can pass our query to the LLM model and get its output response. The output response can then be printed or processed by other stages. Now, let's see how we can use the length chain expression language to define the same chain. To define a chain using LCL, you simply need to connect your different components through an operator called the pipe operator. Any arbitrary number of components can be chained together using the pipe operator. You can then run your chain by feeding your input query to the invoke function of your chain. Specifically, your input query is fed to the leftmost component in your chain. In this example, the input query is first fed to the prompt template to create the prompt. The prompt is then passed to the second component of the chain, which is our model in this example. So the flow in a chain is from left to right. Let's see another example. Here we define a custom function and use it as a component in our chain. Our custom function gets an input string or query, processes it, and returns another string. You can define any arbitrary processing here. To use this custom function, we use a module called Runnable Lambda from Langchain. This module can convert our custom function to a chain component. To do so, we simply pass the name of our custom function to Runnable Lambda. The output is now a chain component. We now define our chain using LCL. Here we have four components in our chain. If we run our chain, the input goes to prompt, the prompt goes to model, the output of the model is then parsed by output parser and its generated text is then passed to our custom function to get a new output. Note that Langchain supports various output parsers by which we can transform LLM's outputs to a more suitable format. Let's consider another example in which we use a vector store in our chain. First, we import the face vector store by which we can build a database using our data and retrieve relevant information from it using our input query and use it as a context for our LLM. We then import a string-based output parser to parse the output of our LLM. We also import the chat prompt template module to build custom prompts. Moreover, we import a runnable module called runnable pass-through, allows to pass inputs unchanged through our chain. We will explain it more soon. We next import our chat model and also the embedding model from OpenAI. We now create our vector store or our database. We need to specify an input text and our embedding model. For example, you can use the text content of a book or document as the input to the vector store. We now define a retriever component by which we can retrieve relevant information from our database using the input query. Our prompt template is created here, which has two placeholder variables, a context and a question. We will use our retriever to set the value of the context, and our input query will be used as our question. The prompt template and our model are then created by these two lines. We now use LCL to create our retrieval chain, which has four components in it. The first component is a dictionary that maps our retriever to the context of our prompt. It also maps our input query to the question of our prompt. We here used runnable pass through to simply pass our input query to the question variable of our template without any modification. In other words, when we run our chain, the input of the invoke function is passed to the question variable of our prompt. So the first component of our chain was just a mapper. 
The other three components are our prompt, our model, and our output parser. Again, these components are processed from left to right to get the final output of the model. This was a short introduction of the length chain expression language. Hope you liked it.